So Mario Party Superstars released like five months ago, yeah? And they didn't even show it on the first Direct in February? About that. I was thinking that they're gonna show it in the next Direct. But for right now, I was thinking that I could make my DLC prediction for Mario Party Superstars. With that being said, let's make the ultimate Mario Party even better. The one that started it all. There are sure a lot of N64 Mario Party minigames that came into Superstars. Do you even know how many are in Mario Party Superstars? 55 minigames from the N64 Mario Party. And that covers half of Mario Party Superstars. And that's shocking. I'm gonna predict 5 minigames for the DLC for the first Mario Party. 2 coin minigames and 3 free for all minigames. The two coin minigames that I'm going to predict is Coin Block Blitz and Grab Bag. Whenever they're going to play Grab Bag in the DLC, I'm going to say the Mario Party that you're going to be playing will be intense because Grab Bag will shake the game real quick because of the amount of coins that you're going to have in the minigame. The three free-for-all minigames I'm going to predict for the DLC is Skateboard Stamper, Platform Peril, and Hot Baba. Well, those are the minigames I'm gonna predict for the first Mario Party. Now, onward to Mario Party 2. Why didn't Bowserland get in Mario Party Superstars? For Mario Party 2, I'm gonna predict three minigames, which is two free for all minigames and one 1v3 minigame. The two free for all minigames I'm gonna predict for Mario Party 2 is Kyle Driver and Day at the Races for another luck based minigame. The one 1v3 minigame I'm going to predict is Move to the Music just for fun. Well, time to go on to the last 1064 Mario Party, which is Mario Party 3. Why did only one board from Mario Party 3 come into Mario Party Superstars? There should have been more. It's crazy how 24 minigames from Mario Party 3 came into Superstars. So what I'm gonna predict is one free-for-all minigame and a 1v3 minigame. This free-for-all minigame is a fun one, and this one is called Picture Imperfect, and the 1v3 minigame is called Crazy Cogs. That's all of the N64 minigames I'm gonna predict for the DLC. Now on to the first GameCube Mario Party, which is Mario Party 4. The Mario Party where it had Mario's birthday in it. For the first GameCube Mario Party, I'm gonna predict 5 minigames, which is 2 free for all, 2 1v3, and only 1 2v2 minigame. The 2 free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Toad's Quick Draw and Chain Chomp Fever. The two 1v3 minigames I'm gonna predict is Making Waves and Blame It on the Crane. The one 2v2 minigame I'm gonna predict is The Great Deflate. When I first experienced Mario Party 4 minigames into Superstars, I think Nintendo nailed the choices for Mario Party 4, cause the minigames are great. With that being said, Mario Party 5 awaits! The Mario Party that had really good music. For Mario Party 5, I love the minigame music because it is banging. The three free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Triple Jump, Hotel Goomba for a strategy, and Fish Upon a Star. The only one 1v3 minigame I'm gonna predict is Heat Stroke. The two 2v2 minigames I'm gonna predict is Diffuser Lose or Manic Mallets. The two fun duel minigames I'm gonna predict is Button Mashers and Sky Survivors. And the one last minigame I'm gonna predict, which is a Bowser minigame, is called Scoundrel Cauldron. For that one Bowser minigame I'm gonna predict from Mario Party 5, I just felt like it'd be fun, even if it's a luck based minigame. Well then, time to move on to the best GameCube Mario Party of all time, Mario Party 6. What a cool idea for a day and night gimmick for Mario Party 6. For the day and night Mario Party cycle for Mario Party 6, I'm gonna list 5 minigames, which is 3 free for all, 1 2v2 minigame, and 1 duel minigame. The 3 free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Daff Raft, Lift Leapers, and Strawberry Short Fuse. 
The only 2v2 minigame I'm gonna predict is Jump the Gun. And last but not least, the dual minigame I will be predicting is Lunartex. Well, time to move on to the last Mario Party on the GameCube, which is Mario Party 7. It's pretty cool to have 8 player minigames in Mario Party 7. You know, for Mario Party 7, I felt like this Mario Party had some good minigames too. And for that, I'm gonna predict 7 minigames from this Mario Party. The two free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Track and Yield and Picture This. The three 2v2 minigames I'm gonna predict is Battery Ram, Spear Factor, and World Peace. The only one coin minigame I'll be predicting is Cointagius. And lastly, the dual minigame, which I'll be predicting is Camp Yukiki. Well, that's the last of the GameCube Mario Party series. Now on to the Wii, Mario Party 8. It sucks to have like two minigames into Superstars. There actually should have been more, just like the other minigames in. It's pretty bullcrap to have two freaking minigames from Mario Party 8 into Superstars, when there's 24 minigames from Mario Party 3 into Superstars. Anyway, I'm gonna predict two 3 4 minigames, one 2v2 minigame, one 1v3 minigame, and two dual minigames. The two free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Sick and Twisted and Aim of the Game. Next, the 2v2 minigame I'll be predicting is King of the Thrill. The 1v3 minigame I'll be predicting is Power Trip. Lastly, the two dual minigames I'll be predicting is Breakneck Building and Cardiators. And now, it's time to move on to my favorite Mario Party of all time. It's the one I grew up with. But before you click out of the video, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, but the game is bad because the car concept messed everything up. But hey, the mini games are great, the extras are great, and the bosses are fun. So that doesn't mean the game is entirely bad. Anyway, onward to Mario Party 9. My first Mario Party on the Wii, but hey. I played Mario Party 6 first, so Mario Party 6 was my first Mario Party that I played before. I hope Nintendo brings a lot of Mario Party 9 minigames into Superstars. I really hope so, because those are good minigames too. Anyway, the free for all minigames I'll be predicting is Sky Jinx, Mecha Choice, Peak Precision, Smash Compactor, Goomba Bowling, Tumble Temple, Ballistics, Magma Mayhem, Pizza Me Mario, Chain Event, Bumper Bubbles, Card Smart, Speeding Bullets, Goomba Village, Don't Look, Jigsaw Jumble, and Bombard. Lastly, the 1v3 minigames I'll be predicting is Mob Sleds and Hazard Hold. I know that's a lot of free for all minigames to bring back, I just hope they bring a lot back. Now let's go to the last Mario Party, which is Mario Party 10. Bowser mode in Mario Party is just okay, but it's just unfair for the four people in the vehicle because how OP Bowser is in that mode. For Mario Party 10, the free for all minigames I'm gonna predict is Snake Block Party, Cliffside Crisis, Fumi Once, Bobum Combo, Sword of Score. The only 1v3 minigame I'll be predicting is Movin' Mushrooms. And finally, the last 2v2 minigames I'll be predicting is Soccer Brawl, Goombrat Combat, and Shape Up. That is all of the Mario Party minigames I am going to predict. Now let's count them up, shall we? I got 5 from Mario Party 1, I got 3 from Mario Party 2, I got 2 from Mario Party 3, I got 5 from Mario Party 4, I got 9 from Mario Party 5, I got 5 from Mario Party 6, I got 7 from Mario Party 7, I got 6 from Mario Party 8, I got 19 from Mario Party 9, and I got 9 from Mario Party 10. Which that makes 70 minigames for the DLC, just like the amount of minigames in Mario Party 3. You might also think that's a lot of minigames to bring back. Think of it as the new Mario Kart DLC we just got. 48 remastered courses, that's like the amount of tracks in Mario Kart 8 already without the DLC. Next up is what I'm gonna talk about and predict is the boards.
The five boards that we have played on is Yoshi's Tropical Island, Peach's Birthday Cake, Spaceland, Horrorland, and Woody Woods. It can get tiring because of the boards that you're going to be playing over and over again and you just want something new eventually. The boards I'm going to predict is Westerland, Chilly Waters, Creepy Cavern, and Bowserland from Mario Party 2. Maybe if they want to add another board like Mario's Rainbow Castle if they wanted to. Next up I'm going to talk about and predict is the characters. Sadly. The two characters I have predictions on is Dry Bones and Diddy Kong. Because of that, there was a lot of characters seen in the minigames too, like Goomba, Koopa Troopa, Boo, Hammer Bro, Blooper, Monty Mole, and many other characters as a fact. Or you could put Spike from Mario Party 10, cause why not? If they could put a new announcer for Mario Party instead of Toad and Toadette, those two characters could have been playable instead of them being the host of Mario Party. Next up, I'm going to predict is the item minigames. When I first experienced item minigames in Mario Party Superstars, I felt like it was pretty cool to earn the item and not just get it for free. I'll be predicting 5 item minigames which is Give Me A Break, Swing and Swipe, Melly Go Round, Coffin Congestion, and Hey Batter Batter. And now, moving on to the last final thing for this game, the bonus modes. So let's -a go. For bonus modes, I'm gonna have fun with this prediction, and this was from the Top 100 and Super Mario Party, which is Minigame Island. If they ever put Minigame Island into Superstars, I want the story to be like, oh hey, Bowser has kidnapped Toad and Toadette, the announcers and host of Mario Party. You need to go save them. One of you has to save them. When you're about to beat one more minigame and head to the next world, I want the boss to be like a Koopaling. It'd be cool if one of the Koopalings were a boss fight. I'm going to predict one minigame that involves fighting Bowser as the final boss in the minigame island. I got my predictions on the one in Mario Party 4 or Mario Party 5. And one last thing I will be saying about the minigame island, which is a whole new speedrun will begin in Mario Party Superstars. Good luck to those people who are taking that challenge in that game. And that folks, is everything that I predicted for this DLC. When this DLC is released eventually, I hope everyone likes it. And I hope this can be shown in the next direct. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching this video where I predicted the Mario Party DLC. Until next time, stay stylish and I hope this can happen in the future for Mario Party. The only reason why I remember liking Mario Party 9 is because of the nostalgia that hit me into Superstars. I actually like the remix from Mario Party 9 into Superstars. It's actually catchy and memorable. That's why I wish more minigames were into Superstars for Mario Party 9. That way I could have memories in the past playing Mario Party 9 as a child. Good times. One day I'll play those minigames once again. Alrighty then, see you next time.